What happens from this point of this pivotal point in this family with your father and your stepmother? What happens next? Things shifted a little when I was about 16 because it was the first time that I put my hand up to protect myself from a blow from my stepmom and she never hit me again after that. I think it's a bit like, you know, kind of like bullies. Any bully, if you fight back, they're kind of like a bit bit scared and a bit, bit shocked. Okay. And although I didn't fight back, but I remember what did happen was that when my dad got home from work that night, my mum, stepmom, told my dad that I'd, that I'd, um, I can't remember, I don't remember the word, but you know, I'd resisted the punishment sort of thing. Okay. And so he beat me. <laughs> okay, great. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. So what do you make of that? What do you make of that as a 16 year old young man? Well, it was kind of, uh, you know, it was okay. It was worth the beating because my stepmom, she was then obviously a little bit more wary about, you know, about hitting me. And that felt quite powerful and it was quite a big step for me. It still didn't mean that things got better really, but it, I think she just got off, my, got off my case a little. And it was really just counting down the days till I could leave home, till I could get away, till I could escape to, you know, what felt like freedom and sort of the promised land where I didn't have to live in that house any longer. So what, what happened then? Where did you go? And how old were you when you left home? I was 18 when I left, I went to Israel. Fell in love for the, sort of the first time, did first you? relationship. Okay kind of heartbroken because it's, it's interesting because it's been a kind of like a, a you know a real pattern I, I it seems that I have that I was res responded and with a lot more pain and a lot more intensity than most people that I know at that at the end of a relationship and now I can kind of like piece that back to the end of the relationship with that young lady at age 18 triggered losing my you know the, all the emotions that were bottled up inside me around losing my mother and so on yeah it's interesting where you're going with your body so mm. you're going to your belly mm. i notice mm. so what what is in your belly what emotion is in your belly there's an awful lot of emotions i feel that i feel that i feel in my belly you know it's it, you know the, the the under your belly is is kind of like that soft vulnerable place isn't it it is and what i can feel in mine is self-hatred if I press in here, I can feel self-hatred in my gut, right. in my yeah, my intestinal system, saying that I'm worthless, I'm nothing. If I press into it, I can feel it, and that's what it says. I find it easy for my body to tell me what it's trying to say, mm. and I have no shame in, in saying, yeah, you know, I've believed I'm a worthless piece of, mm. I won't say the word, and, and, and you know, I have that on film, um, not intentionally, totally unintentionally, but my body is speaking to me and it's saying, that's what it's saying right now. And of course, every child that experiences trauma, which is, in my eyes, many, 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 many people around the world, we have to make it about us. There's no you know, illusion that we can't make it about us because we have to, because we have something that's bigger and stronger Wherever that caregiver is, whether it's mother or father or aunt or uncle or whoever it is, we have to make it our fault, full stop. Mm -hmm. Now we have to come out with that, in my eyes, and to shift it and to change it and say it's okay to feel like that because I still feel like that and I can't magic it away mm. in the snap of a finger. But that's what my gut is saying to me, it's my fault. It's true to the extent that that's how it feels in my gut. and. Interestingly, my father had a diseased colon, and to me, there's a complete and utter connection. Mm -hmm. He had cancerous colon. Why? Mm. Because he felt exactly the same. I don't think he'd visit those things on me. In fact, I know he wouldn't, unless he'd experienced those traumas himself. Mm -hmm. He snapped in a moment of sheer overwhelm, mm. overwhelming emotion, snapped, and then, you know, those, those dark experiences happened to me. And I say dark and go like that because I actually don't see them so dark anymore. Mm. I see my own darkness and this black hole and this gut and I feel into different parts of my body and I'm reconnecting them. Mm. Uh, and the answers lie in my eyes, in my body. And um, then my mind changes, my belief systems change mm. and my awareness changes of why I'm here. I'm here to have experienced those things, the same as you, mm. the same as all of us, all the challenges to rise to something greater.